shoot it, you have to load it in. And there's gonna be nothing that's come that is gonna come out of the barrel, so you can see for yourself. It's only shell ejecting. By this one. And it doesn't shoot anything out of the barrel, meaning this is both safer, lighter, and also cheaper, and also a budget replica. And is built realistically. For example, it doesn't hurt, but since this is me, Ben from the Ben Cozy YouTube channel, and in this video, we are gonna review a gun that's one of the most popular guns in the 9mm category, which is the Glock. So here is the gun, and as you can see, there's kind of nothing for it to shoot. Why? Because this is basically just a fidget toy, not really for shooting, this is just for fidgeting with your hands, you know. So yeah, so we have the gun, we also have the ammo box, but the ammunition can't actually shoot. We have five already here, and under this, we have these. This is where you will find your shells. It's in. It's gonna be in here under this part. Okay, so let's put the box there now. And now, if you wanna take out the shell, you can either just use scissors or how I did it, just do that. I just, I just spun it out. As you can see, I just did this. So yeah, it's just hollow. Nothing inside of it. Just hollow. Yeah, so it's hollow and that means it's very light, so it's not heavy or anything, so yeah. This is all made of plastic and yeah, not really anything metal. So yeah, this is all plastic, you know. And also, this is very safe for children. Why? Because this is a fidgeting toy, okay? Like I said before, this is a fidgeting toy, so if you just take out the magazine, that's it. That You don't need to put any batteries, it just, it just works like that. Doesn't really hurt. Doesn't hurt. So these are all the details, and I also for almost forgot to say this is a budget fidget toy, and this is made very very well, and it looks really realistic because you have to switch here, like this thing. I don't know what this is for. Maybe grippers. I don't know. And we have the Glock 21. We have, yeah, that's 21. Austria and fun fact the Glock was made in Austria and I don't know what this means I don't really study the Glock. I study the M9 Beretta because that's my favorite. Then we have another sign here Glock and Very comfortable gripping and also some texturing here on the back and also on the front and we also have the scope which is very very Realistic compared to the real Glock. This is basically a replica but also a toy at the same time. And this is not heavy at all. So it's not heavy at all because this is all made of plastic. And here are the inner workings. Hold on. And as you can see, you also have this, which you can push up to hold down this part, which I forgot. And yeah, which is pretty cool. And now we shall see the inner workings. So this is the inner workings. And as you can see, we have this plastic part over here. This is to push the the shells i think if i'm not wrong and as you can see there's a there's a hole right yeah that's where you put the magazine inside so there you go now there's a magazine there and this is how you put the magazine in done it's really soft you also have to push this button to let go of the magazine all right and now if you pull the trigger it will activate this part of the gun which will pull it back like the real guns you know the real glock and here are the inner workings as usual and we also have you also see this right and i'm gonna okay hold on so as you can see once i pull this let's i'm gonna pull it a bit there you go you heard a click sound if i'm not wrong that was the magazine being it was pushed down and now it's pushed up probably to load in the next the next barrel that's already inside the magazine and yeah so let's go test fire it not really firing yet because this is a fidget toy and there's no ammunition for it to actually shoot out of but there is a version where 
there's actually some ammunition where you can shoot the gun. So this is not only a fidget toy, there's another version. And this also, we, we can see that all the three shells that I just put on the table is gone. Why? Because I put it in by pulling this off. So it's like, there you go, you just pull it. And look at that, that is a lot. This is at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shells and there's an extra here. So there should be nine shells, but yeah, there's eight and none of them got lost. I mean, I guess it's by default. And yeah, this fits eight shells only, it says here. And you also has a, have a sign to put it here. Like you need to put it here. So you need to put it like this. Let's take one. You can see this, 9mm, and then you don't put it like this. This will just not work, okay? So this is not how you do it, and this is how you do it. This is how you hold it. You can hold it any way you want, and then just push it in. But there's two ways. One, you just push it down and just put it in. And let's go take another one and do the same. So we're just gonna push it down and pull, push it in or you pull this down you pull this part down and then you just drop them all in like that it's a bit easier it's a bit faster but i like the other way better push it down and push it in and this is also made of plastic this part is also made of plastic, meaning this is one of the one of my lightest guns I've ever reviewed on the channel. So this is pretty impressive, very light. Anyways, let's um, shoot it now. And very realistically, before you have to shoot it, you have to load it in. Wow, very very cool toy. And there's gonna be nothing that's come that is gonna come out of the barrel. So. You can see for yourself. It's only shell ejecting. Pretty cool. And now, um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you actually eject it. There you go. I captured it. <laughs> you can see that the shell is about to come out. It's about to pop out because of the mechanism. You pull the trigger. You pull the trigger, I mean, not trigger. Pull the trigger, and this will be pulled backwards and the magazine would be pushed downwards and this plastic part would push the shell outwards and also if you run out of ammo wait i should i should demonstrate that in a better way first beautiful and a small detail that almost n no one knows if they're not really really uh, fans of guns is that if you run out of ammo the barrel here points upward a bit that detail is pretty important because it may look like it's not noticeable but if you look just a bit it's actually pointing upwards just a bit it's not pointing upwards like the real life version but it's pointing upwards just a bit and that's another realistic part of this gun which is just a budget replica that is impressive this can be your replica without having to buy a Tokyo Marui airsoft. You don't need to buy an airsoft, you can buy this one. And it doesn't shoot anything out of the barrel, meaning this is both safer, lighter, and also cheaper, and also a budget replica. And it's built realistically. And for Tokyo, for Tokyo Maruis or airsofts, sometimes they might be a bit too expensive, and they can actually shoot out some stuff from the BBs if, you, if there's a shell ejecting version, yeah, and this is also going to be quite heavy, even though it's a replica or an airsoft. And this, this is not too crazy. So if you just shoot it, like it's not too hard. For example, it doesn't hurt. But since it's an airsoft, which is an airsoft is technically a sport, it's probably going to hurt. Right, so uh, in my opinion, this is a really good budget gun budget replica has okay or decent build quality feels good and very fun to use and is also a fidget toy safe 
and also works like a blank gun. Like example, you shoot it, you aim it at somebody's head, totally safe, okay? Because there's gonna be nothing that's gonna come out and hurt their at the area that you pointed it at. And this this also does not hurt because it's not too hard. The springs are not made for shooting. This is just a toy. So this is a very fun toy. I recommend you to buy it if you want to just play with a Glock that's not, that's not dangerous, looks fake enough for like bringing it to a neighborhood, I think, you know? All right, and so stay safe, stay healthy, don't forget to stay happy, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.